What is up you guys? My name is Yesenia, aka Yesi Megri. Welcome back to the channel. And as you all know, we are doing a full 31 days of Halloween makeup. As you can see here, we have this Bee Queen, aka Queen Bee. Huh? If you really like this look and you want to see how to get it, go ahead and keep watching. We're going to go ahead and prep the skin with the MAC Prep and Prime Oil Stick. Then we're going to go in with the IT CC Plus Full Coverage Cream just to put, lay a base for our eyeshadow. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette, we're going to go ahead and pick up that light shade right there. And we're going to go ahead and lay that all over the eyelid. Then we're going to use this brown shade called Fudge and the black shade called Noir and start blending that out all over our lids and our eyebrow. We're going back with that lighter shade and just diffusing out the outsides of those darker shades. Then we're going in with the Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner and going to put that in our waterline. Going in with the Next to Nothing Face Color by MAC Cosmetics, we're going to go ahead and lay down our base. Then using those two colors from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette, Fudge and Noir, we're going to go ahead and start contouring. You want to go ahead and just focus on your normal contour areas as well as around the lips just to give a shadowy effect. We're going to now go in with the Becca Cosmetics Gold Highlighter and highlight in all of our high points of our face. Then for extraness, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter and do the same thing. Of course, going in with the Mayron Paradise Paint Palette, we're going to go ahead and start out with the color black and start adding a shadow effect from the neck to the body. We're also going to go ahead and focus that on our face, on our contours. Now picking up the gold from the Marine Paradise Paint Palette, we're going to go ahead and start drawing in little circles just to lay down a base for the honeycombs. We're also going to use that color to fill in our lips. Going in with the MAC Prime Yellow Acrylic Paint, we're going to start filling in those circles and making them more into hexagon shapes so that they look more realistic. Then we're using that same color just to add some dripping effect. Now we're using the black in the MAC acrylic paints and we're going to go ahead and shadow around the honeycombs just so that they look a little more detailed.
We're also going to go ahead and use that color to also add some drippage. Going back in with that fudge eyeshadow color, we're going around the honeycombs just to add a shadow effect so that it looks more dimensional. For mascara, we're going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic. Now we're just using the same colors we've used so far to just splatter on paint all over our body. Using this Money Honey Eye Gloss, I'm gonna lay that all over the eyelid and this is what gives that kind of shiny gold effect that you see in the beginning. Now using the MAC Acrylic Paint in white, we're gonna go ahead and fill in the inner part of our lips. as well as going in on our eyebrows and also doing some more drip marks all over our face and body. And this is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you see and you want to see more of it, go ahead and subscribe. Also go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below. Maybe I might see your comment. Maybe you can give me ideas for my next look. Who knows? You won't know until you try. Also, go ahead and follow me on these social media platforms. If you want to share this video with whoever you want, I would greatly appreciate that. Bye!